Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, that, I like that. <laughs> oh! What the bloody hell was that? I've got a flying dog. I have a butterfly foxhound. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin. Or you may also say I'm in the Itledew, also known as Martin. Welcome, everybody, to Itledew. It's a game I've been wanting to check out for a little while now. Uh, Kai found it for me on the Steam. Uh, it just came out recently on the Steam. That's like saying, yeah, let's get a picture and we'll put it on the line. No, it's just online on Steam. And, yeah, this is Itledew. So we play as this lovely lady over here. And we have a weird fox character as well. And it kind of looks like a mixture between adventure Adventure Time and Zelda and that's kind of why I wanted to check it out and let me know if you want to see this as a series show some love on this first episode and obviously I'll do loads more of them but anyway our adventure begins well would you look at that an entire island just reeking of adventure oh I sure hope that's adventure I'm smelling is there a swamp nearby ah who cares let's check out our dirty old cave right I'm taking a nap in the tipsy button the what? Oh, he's a drunk. He's a drunk, isn't he? <laughs> that's what it's called. It's the tipsy button a bar. <laughs> that's, that's what I reckon it might be. But look at this. I, I dig the animation on this, actually. It's very cool. I don't think it's seaworthy. But what are you talking about? We've patched up the hole. It's a nice little rubber dinghy. That could sail for five minutes. I'm sure there's another island five minutes from here. Right, let's go into here then. Ooh, caves. So we've got spikes. We've got pads. We've got a suspiciously right one. Oh, okay. Opens the door. Good stuff. Ah, now these blocks I've seen in the trailer. You can actually move them out of the way. Ha ha. Right, what does this say? Uh, hint. Light this torch. You'll be... Oh, you're burning... Oh, okay. So what do I do? Oh, okay. If I do that... There you go. There you are. Look at that. Oh, I burned that. And then I can go through. I see. I see. Right, now what's the crack here? There's some sleeping diamonds. We're not letting anyone through here. Oh, God. All right, Doug Trio. <laughs> it's like his long-lost cousin. Word. Yeah, man. So don't try to smack a damn magic crystal sleeping over there. What? Beat that stuff until we solve the puzzle? Got it. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's one and two. What are you doing here, Perry? Perry, what are you doing? Oh! <laughs> that's like Halo. When you hit stuff in Halo, this thing's just explode. You hear the, yay! <laughs> Uh, smack doors and gates for clues on how to find them. Oh, wait, wait. Smack. Oh, I see. So you hit the door like I did in the last room, and it tells you how to do everything. Okay, if I do that. Oh, I have to leave. Okay. So if I put that one onto there, step on that one. Voila. They go out of the way. Awesome. Why can I move that one? No. Can I push that down, maybe? Yeah. It's a bit peculiar. I don't know what I'd need that for. Aha. Next floor. Oh, the exit. Get in. Oh, yes. And the music begins. Love it. This is starting to feel a bit like Pokemon as well, you know, with all the ledges and the fences and stuff. Uh, let's go to... Oh, where do we want to go? I like the idea of Fishbun Hills. I know the castle sounds cool. Oh, no, we did mention the swamp at the start, though. Might be best if we went to the swamp. Let's have a look at the map. Oh, cool. So, actually, the map generates as we move our way outwards. Cool. Ah, East the Desert Grove. So, obviously, I can't go that way yet. So, let's carry on upwards. Oh, oh there's a bit of trash can there. Right, let's find out who lives here. Oh. Wow. Look at all this total crap. Ah, an adventurer, you see? Ah, I'm Item Carver. And this is me shop right here. Carved all these items myself, I did. What? Even the swordfish? Especially the swordfish. So, what do you need? Uh, a raft, please. We had a little rubber dinghy, but it was a bit crappy, so I'd rather not be stuck here if the adventure isn't up to par. Oh, but of course it is. The most adventurous island you ever did see. Tell you what, I'll carve you a raft for free if you can bring me something called the Artifact from the castle up to the north. In the meantime, I bet there's lots of gold in the castle too. Go get some, then buy something. All right. Whoa, look at that, the smooth panning inside of this. This is very cool. So I can buy a sword for 200. I have nothing at the minute. A wand for 300. It's a portal wand. All right, that one's a fire sword, and then we've also got an ice one as well. Oh, we can freeze anything. Okay, so I'll make sure I come back when I've got a couple hundred gold. I was hoping that I could go into that house there and then come out the other side and go to the east, but oh, maybe I can. Hold on. If I go all the way this way, maybe I can come out the other side. <gasps> I can. Awesome. Awesome. 
the warp garden oh hello this is like the warp zone in mario <laughs> that's very cool i imagine this game is going to have a lot of influences and references to other games that's awesome oh it's you again have you finally brought yourself some cash to buy some of me wares no i haven't mate i'm sorry anyway we're outside now that's what to say the castle seems like this is where we're headed oh hello oh what the hell they're like little tykes. They're like little strippies from Nino Kuni. <laughs> oh my god, it's frog onesie people. <laughs> it's so adorable. They're sort of like dodger. See this area behind the spikes? I'm guarding here. Uh, okay. You're lucky I'm not guarded over there right now. Or I'd have to stab you in my spear. Uh, this is the castle security? Well, at least they won't care when we loot the place. Awesome, so they're stuck in that area then. So do they, they only ever walk on the green tiles? So if I were to walk on those green tiles, here we go. Yeah, look at me. No, I'm guarding the castle. King of the castle. Oh, balls. Oh dear, what have I done? Oh, <laughs> why did you pull that face? What was that all about? All right, so I have to kill these two in order to get around here, but I can't do that because I can't get the spikes down. So I'm assuming I drop the spikes in another room. Right, how fast are these buggers? Oh, oh no, not too fast. Yay! <laughs> I'm so tempted over every time I kill one of those to actually put down the uh, the sound. Oh, oh, there you go. To put down the confetti sound from Halo 3. Oh, a heart. Okay, that's just sick. Is that a heart? Where did you get that? Uh, from the ground. Don't eat that stuff off the ground. What are we talking about? Five second rule. I was literally about to say the same thing. This game thinks exactly like I do. This is fantastic. I love every second of this so far. Right, so I'm going to have to make sure I push all of these down. So if I push you up by one, you down by one, get onto you, and then I probably need to light these, but I don't have a fire stick currently. What does that say? Yeah, bring fire from the west. So this would be the west. If I get that on fire, and then I need to very quickly one and two. There you go. Now, I did open the room above me, didn't I? Oh, okay, hold on. Oh, so they slide and they don't stop. Oh, so they stop by sand. Or do they stop by any kind of wall? No, so it looks like sand stops those. Okay, bear that in mind, that's good. This door is open from the other side. Awesome, we've already done that. Uh, oh, gotcha. Bloody hell, there's a lot of them. Kill the onesies! There you go. Even though I have a onesie myself. You should actually... What onesie does everybody have? Does anybody actually here own a frog onesie? I have a Totoro onesie. And that's about my lot. Right, what do I do with these? Do I push them or... Oh, bloody hell. Oh, oh dear. Hold on a minute. How do I, how do I work this? <laughs> what does this say? Hit bombs and torches. Love being set on fire. Right, okay. So I'm going to have to bring some fire, aren't I? In order to set that alight. Oh, chest! Oh, yeah. How much gold? Oh, wow. Actually, apparently quite a lot. Yes, 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 yes. Keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming. 200. I think I can actually afford something from that as well. I think in the shop I had enough for that. They took our lunch money. <laughs> I don't know why they're murlocs. It's a bit weird. Let's see what happens. Oh. All right, so that's what happens there. So I need a way of actually moving the bombs over there. I don't think I can push these ones, can I? No, only if they've got arrows. Right. So I don't know how I'll do that. For now, I will leave it. I'm going to go down here. And I think there was a staircase, wasn't there, in the previous room. So if I quickly go up yonder. Here we are. Ah, oh, another chest. What do we get? Da, 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 da. Tipsy's tips. Never believe a drunk, kids. Never believe a drunk. Take that thing to your life bar and let's find some more of them. Oh, are you kidding? Oh, wow. So you actually use that to make up the parts of your health bar. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, balls. I don't goof there, haven't I? Rubbish. Hold on. Let me re-enter. I'm hoping all the puzzles reset when you re-enter. Uh, there you go. I like that you can just enter the stairs from any direction. Right. So if I do that. That onto there. That onto there. Aha. Oh. What? Shut up, old man. Oh, don't mind these old blocks. Oh, why are you doing that? Oh. Die, old man. Die! Oh. Uh, no, he's just a bit dim-witted, isn't he? Professional shortcut. So if I kill him... Hold on a minute. What if I set him on fire? I don't know if I can do that in time. Or if I can push blocks if I have something that's on fire. Let's give it a go, though. Right, so this is on fire. Let's do this ASAP. There we are. Go, 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 go. Quick, 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 before the fire runs out. 
And... Oh. Almost got me. Oh. You filthy old man. Let me try again. There you go. Good. Go, 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 go. That's it. Keep going. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. And... Yeah! What are you saying now, old man? Eh? Look at that. That was like bonfire night. <laughs> okay, what have we got? Got another door here. So we've basically got to move a load of these. Professional shortcut. Again, with all these professional shortcuts. I know I'm professional, but still. Oh dear, how do we move that? So if we move those to there. Can we put the spikes there? Ah, uh, <laughs> now I'm stuck. Oh. Oh, I'm afraid of heights. I can't stop flying. Oh. You're like barely off the ground, dude. What are you talking about? <laughs> Calm down. Right, so I can't get through that way. Let me re-enter this room. I may have... I may have... Oh! Wait, I need... Hold on a minute. More money for me? All right, fair enough. Oh, yeah. Now I'm completely lost to, is it to exactly where I am. Oh, bloody hell. All right, Dodger. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, it's coffee time. I'll actually just reds. Yeah! All right, hold on a minute. All right. Oh, there you go. So as long as I keep them off... Ah, off direction. Oh, bloody hell. So the problem is they've got projectiles. I don't. Oh, no. I died. Of course I died. I died on Tutorial Island. GG, everybody. Or JJ, as Toby would say. JJ. There you go. So is it three hits to kill? It is. Yeah. Oh. There you go. That's it. Get around the side. Yeah. Gotcha. Right. Sleeping crystal. There's nothing up there. How long are you going to last? Oh, you fell asleep again. As if. All right, I'm going to have to push this across then. That's it. And really quickly. Yeah, there we go. All right, what's inside of this chest? Ooh, a treasure map. It's a map. Oh, it's a map. Shoddy. <laughs> it's like a rapper. Of course he's a rapper. He's always drunk. He's hanging out with ladies. Of course he's a rapper. How did I not see this before? Right, if I can blow that up. Oh, step back, everybody. Step back. There you go. Oh, two hearts. Awesome. So what can I move out of the way here? Is there actually anything to gain from pushing these? Anything? Nothing? No, just a solid circle. Oh, that's peculiar. Okay, what about if I am able to... Oh, I see. If I push this right the way along, it should... I don't think there's any limit to how far we can push these. If I drop this on top of the orange button, step on that one, yeah. All right, now hopefully fire kills them quicker. Oh, no, it doesn't actually. Still two hits. All right, there you go. Good, that's one crystal. The other crystal, oh, and a hatchet. Oh, I see there's two of them there actually. All right, so I'm gonna have to do this. Uh, and the final one. Oh, what? Oh, so some of them last for different times. Right, gotcha. Whoa. Oh, bloody hell. Close combat. There you go. Oh, oh, God. Yes, gotcha. Down you go, Dodger. Down you go. Oh. All right, is that cacti friendly or not? Oh, 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 God, no. Oh, God, it's not friendly. Run, run. Get it. Oh, bloody hell. There you go. Oh, ow. I didn't realize you could projectiles. Which directions do those projectiles go? Oh, okay. So they go relatively straightforward. Bloody hell. So is this our first boss that we're encountering? Oh, <laughs> oh, bloody! Hell, it's getting faster as well. I think. There you go. Another hit. Yeah, beasted. So each heart recovers. I think each heart recovers a full heart. It's pretty sweet. And inside the chest. Oh, training cards. Oh, so your name is Jenny Fox. All right. Uh, don't anger her. Don't make fun out of her outfit. Better not be on the same island just to be safe. All right. Okay. Well, a whole treasure chest just for a card. Bummer. Let's try another castle. What? You mean any cards we uh, we find are worthless? Think of them like vitamins. They're just there for flavour. Right. Okay. I thought something like cinnamon was there for flavour, not not trading cards. I'm pretty sure they're not edible. So I was like, hey, what the hell is that? What is that turnip doing there? What are, What are you? Why do you exist? Oh, have you know, I'm the best dancer in the world. Uh, okay. Yeah, I can just turn around and around very, very fast. You don't look uh, like you're very good at dancing, though. 
How graceful. Well, I'm pretty good at solving puzzles. Sometimes. <laughs> solving puzzles? How would that ever get you anywhere in life? Such a simpleton. Okay. I'm also pretty good at bum burping the alphabet. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I was threw up there. Oh, I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> All right, okay. I don't know why I just did that. What have we got? So, I wonder if, if he steps on that, if we can press all these at the same time. So, let's do this. Hold on. If I... I can't push that off of that spot. Right. Hold on a minute. So, yeah. If I push that down, push you along. Uh, that along twice. That along once. Then, if I just stand here, hopefully... Oh, that opened that door. I was hoping that the other room was going to... Um, uh, the turpin was going to... Turpin? I guess <laughs> turnip. Sorry, right, I've got Mark Turpin on the mind. I thought that was where it was going. No, um, I was I was thinking that if I had the turnip, then I'd be able to. Oh, careful! No, I can't push that any further, bugger. I was thinking that it, it would open the door next to it, but apparently not. Right, so it looks like I should have used the ice one. Let me let me reset this room. Go back in. Okay, so I'm thinking if I hit that one there and it says the fire. I've already tried getting the ice over to this door, and that button is linked up to that door. So I think I have to get the ice onto the fire block. So I've kind of sat here and sussed it out, and I think pretty much I have to do this sort of thing. Now, <laughs> this may or may not work, but I think it's pretty much if I put that to there, I can move this ice block down to here. There we are. Then that leaves me a gap here to the left hand side of this block. If I push you right the way along to there, push you across all the way, and then I can come around the top, and hopefully it doesn't just destroy the ice block. Oh, yes. Yep. Door open. Door open. Fantastic. Oh, another chest as well. Da da da. We got ourselves another. God, we're going to be able to afford everything from that shop. There was something on for like 300, 400, and 200, I think, wasn't there in the shop? There we go. Oh, this is the start of the level. Ah, okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, there's some more steps there. Let's go up. What have we got? Oh, hello. Right, okay. This is the fire and ice front door. The boss of the castle lurks above. Oh, dear. Okay. Hold on a minute. And I can't push that any further. So, the question is, how do I get those blocks to go further than they already are? Hmm. Maybe I haven't learned that. Although, it did say fire and ice, so maybe I have to go and buy the wands. Uh... Oh, oh, steady. Oh, ouch. Dodger. What are you doing? There you go. Whoops, steady. Oh, oh, I didn't move quick enough. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, steady. That's it. That's it. It's cool. Gotcha. Right, let's take out this little spear, dude. Whoa, first. Take out Froggy. Oh, there you go. That's it. You get angry at me from there. There you go. You're dealt with. Right. So we need to press two of these in order to get this sorted. But we can't move the bomb across to the top right-hand corner. Portal blocks are heavy. Right. So maybe we do need the different kinds of ones in order to do this. I think that might be the stage that we're at now. So I'm going to leave it there for today. If you've got any tips or suggestions, let me know in the comments section below. If you want to see episode two, then also make sure to make me aware of that as well. And I will see you all in a little bit. Bye. Bye.